Hi everyone, welcome to this new um, overview of a new marketplace asset that I'm going to be releasing. Now this one is about the um, AI solution for squads and team combat. So you can see over here that I have um, 8 NPCs for on each side and they basically belong to different teams and they have um, different behaviors between each other. Now right now in this pack I only have two kind of behaviors, so the ones where they find cover and one that are aggressive and they will charge the other enemies. If you think about, for example, Far Cry 3, the shotgun guys kind of charge you without going to cover and the other guys try to take cover and shoot you. Um, that's kind of what I tried to replicate here. Um, now if I press play, I think I'm going to do simulate so you can see you know, from above the fighting going on, but you can also play as a player and basically it will work the same. So you can see that, first of all, they're going to be walking and following their squad leader, which is the first guy. Once they get close to each other, they're going to trigger their combat mode. And there you go, you can see that they're going to find cover and start to firing line traces. These are basically simulating the shooting. And... Yeah. So we need to wait uh, until someone wins. And there you go, I think everyone is dead, this guy was the last one alive. Now you can see that after they kill everyone, they'll just resume uh, walking to their target. Now in the beginning, I made this uh, group over here walk towards over here, and this group walks towards over there. I basically just have a target component uh, that I told the squad leader to use as a reference. Now if I click on them, and I've basically found the component that drives the entire AI, you can see there's a bunch of settings over here, basically the team index, the his leader in this case is just one, which is this guy in front, the leader move target, which is the target on the other side, uh, and then the squad members references are the other three. And basically there's a bunch of statistics and stats about the you know, some delays, some channels for tracing, some ranges over here. But the most important is the combat behavior, which I only have two right now. So this guy over here is the only one that's going as an aggressive attack. And basically you can see that if I delete these two, just leave the squad leader and this guy, so you can see more clearly. You can see that um, this guy is going to start following the squad leader. And once he goes into combat mode, you can see that he's straight going to pick a target and he's just going to move. There you go. In this case, he died. But you can see that the other guy, which is in cover mode, quickly found cover and went there. There you go. And now these guys are going to resume their pathing. Now, the squad members always follow the squad leader and the squad leader is responsible for choosing targets and the overall move destination. Um, I did this so the squad leader basically has to do a lot of the calculations and I got some errors, which is interesting. Which is over here. That's interesting. Oh, I know why, never mind. It's because I uh, removed, well, I deleted two actors, but I left their references over here. So basically he's trying to call for like someone that doesn't exist. Actually I'm going to fix right now so you're not going to see those errors but ignore those. Uh, and this is basically what I have to offer. Now all the cover in this pack is going to be completely uh, dynamic which means these are just simple static meshes. You don't have to pre-place cover. Uh, the AI will automatically do traces and check uh, if the geometry in the level is compatible as cover. So for example, if he can shoot from a location, but he can also crouch behind it, he's probably going to choose that one. And if he does have no no more cover like that, he's probably going to choose full cover. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you don't have to pre-place anything. Uh, the AI will choose that for you. Now, you might want to change some things on how the AI chooses cover. In this case, if we go into the component, you can see that uh, I sort locations by shorter distance and by target visibility. But you might want to see how I did this and basically create another, other variants uh, if you want something specific to your project. But yeah, you can see how I organized the code. You can see everything is commented, is uh, pretty much clean, as much as I could do. And uh, the main tasks, uh, you can see that you can follow them through and see what I'm doing, but you can also um, the main code is going to be over here in this functions, which you can see how I did. So I try to separate everything in little um, groups. 
or in little tasks so you can then go into there and edit specific things if you want or you know you can even create you know some other sort or some other thing for finding cover positions you know whatever you prefer for your project i just tried to make this as generic as possible so it can fit uh, people's projects and as easy to integrate as possible which is just picking uh, the component over here dragging it into a pawn and if it has a nav mesh in the level it's probably going to work just fine um, but yeah, uh, if you have, you know, if you don't have any knowledge about Unreal Engine yet, I probably can't recommend you to get this pack because if you're going to integrate this into your project, you might need to add it some things, uh, especially over here because I have a lot of example code, which is like the shooting is just a line trace. I have crouching, which is just setting a variable in the, um, the animation graph, uh, which I created a, a system for, for the AI, for, for example, to rotate the spine up and down if the targets are above. Um, but you can see all of that, then, you know, the damage is just simple uh, health variable going down. You know, there's just a lot of stuff for you to see and to learn from, but, you know, if there's any problems, um, you can always let me know, and I will try to do updates uh, to fix any issues that you guys find. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.